Okay, today we're going to be doing field strip disassemble assembly of a Ruger 2245 light. So, it's a nice gun. This gun's a little bit tricked out. We have the scope on it. Um, it does have all Volcourse and Trigger uh, components. Um, and have this uh, little attachment to help on uh, pulling back the bolt and have some other little tricks on the inside but still disassemble and assembly is the same regardless so uh, one of the first things you're going to have to do is remove the main spring and to do that there's several different little tools some people use paper clips. I used to put together a zip tie so that I knew I wasn't going to scratch or anything to get on there and pull it out. So, but I got this little fancy tool here that's used for doing that. So first of all, I'm going to start off showing we got a safe weapon. And as you can see, chamber's empty, nothing in there. Go ahead and dry fire. Alright, well, let's start disassembly. So, right in here, there's a little hook point where you can grab a hold of that, just pull it out. And then it just comes up and grab a hold of it. I usually put my thumb down here. What we're doing is we're pulling this out. This actually is this pin up here. So, out she comes. And you just set that to the side. And at this time, we can pull the slide out. Go ahead and take or the slide, the bolt out. And then on getting the barrel off, I'm just going to push forward with the bottom assembly while I push back with the barrel. Oh, wrong way. We're gonna, is it, no, that was the right way. Oh, there it goes. So, yeah, so wrong way. So, you want to uh, pull towards the back. And that's it, man. It's as simple as that. Uh, this isn't uh, where I don't think people have any issues. Uh, it's on the reassembly, but uh, the, in here there's nothing to worry about. Uh, you just clean up after a day of shooting. I usually just get Q-tips and kind of clean up and everything in there as best I can. Uh, there's no reason to strip that down anymore. Uh, go ahead and clean up everything inside the barrel. Um, you can uh, remove the spring. You buy a compressant, pull it out if you want to clean that out of the bolt. Uh, so it's it's pretty simple. Yeah, some people are just a little uh, fearful of it because it, it can be a little tricky. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, we'll put this back on. There's a little bolt. I don't want to call it bolt, but a little piece of steel right here that's got a lip on the front of it. And that's going to go right inside here. Alright, and then I'm going to push forward with my uh, lower half and back with the top half until we get a nice little click. You usually have a little bit of overhang. Ah. And then we can go in. You want to make sure that uh, sometimes a little trigger a hammer might pop up. If so, you should just push it down. I never really had that issue. And then the, put the uh, bolt in. For the bolt to go in, you've got to have your uh, release.
release in the down position or it will not go in. So here's where it starts getting a little bit trickier for some people. And what we want to do is we need to reinsert this pin. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that we can see through there. I'm going to use my finger to pull back and hold the slide or the bolt in there so that we can get this main spring bolt back up in there. Okay. Alright, so it's not in all the way yet. It's good. It's being a little fidgety, which it can be, but you just gotta stay with it. Work with it. There went, went all the way in. When it's all the way in, you'll be able to tell it should be popped up a good little eighth of an inch or so. And then uh, from here, what we're going to do is we're going to reinsert the magazine. And I'm going to turn the gun upside down. And what I'm going to do is then... I'm going to eject the mag magazine. I'm going to pull the trigger a couple times. And I'm going to hold the trigger in. And you can see my spring went in like it's supposed to. To know it's proper, you can see that it's got. I can take this out. You can see it's got some resistance. It's got a little eighth of an inch spring. If you don't have it in there properly, you will not have that. You will not have that uh, installed properly into your main spring. So, if you don't have that little bit of play like that, just go through the steps again. It's an, you know, it just happens. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and push it shut, close it up. I want to check the function of the gun. Go ahead and put this in, make sure that it locks back properly. And you'll be able to dry fire the weapon. So you know that it has been put back and is working properly. So you just can't be afraid of it. Uh, when I was first looking for a 22 uh, uh, target gun, the guy at the store kind of led, told me this was a great gun, but it was a little tricky to disassemble and reassemble. And I think people get a little scared because of that. But it's really not too bad. Once you've done it a few times, it uh, is pretty piece of cake. It is is uh, hopefully disillustrated. So, and this is a great gun. I haven't had a bit of problems with it. it. Shoots just flawlessly all the time. And uh, if you're lucky enough to get one, you'll enjoy it. So, thanks, and enjoy your 22.